In a thrilling and dramatic incident at a Walmart in Mobile, Alabama, shopper Brennan Lynn captured a great escape on camera that was more exciting than frightening. As Lynn recounts, he and his companions were simply heading to Walmart to grab some lunch when they witnessed a man struggling with an employee. Their initial instinct was to help, but they decided to refrain and instead opted to record the incident on their phones. Store employees managed to apprehend the shoplifting suspect who had allegedly attempted to steal some shoes and brought him back into the store. However, what happened next was unimaginable. The suspect found himself in the security room and somehow managed to climb up through the ceiling, creating an astonishing escape route. Presumably, he then walked away before attempting to break through the ceiling of the exit entryway with his foot. In a daring move, the suspect escaped by suspending himself from the ceiling tiles for a moment before dropping down, running, and hopping into a red car, swiftly fleeing the scene. Lin couldn't believe what he had just witnessed and exclaimed that it was the craziest thing he had ever seen on film. The excitement of the escape overshadowed the fear of the dangerous situation they had encountered at Walmart. In the bustling aisles of a Walmart store, a mother and her daughter innocently go about their shopping, unaware that danger lurks nearby. The woman's watchful eyes scan her surroundings, sensing that something may be amiss. Suddenly, she notices a man trailing behind them, his camera clicking away. Alarmed, she acts swiftly, capturing his suspicious actions on video. I don't know him. He's following me and recording me. With a sense of urgency, she approaches a shop attendant and the store manager, both of whom agree that the man's behavior is unsettling, confirming the woman's fears. However, as they turn their attention back to the man, he vanishes into thin air, leaving them baffled. Determined not to let this incident go unnoticed, the woman takes matters into her own hands. She shares the video and photos on TikTok. I shared the video and the photos on TikTok. I posted it locally and... He has been identified. He is a uh, registered. Hoping to reach a wider audience. Additionally, she posts the evidence locally in the hopes that someone might recognize the man. Her efforts yield chilling results. Through a quick Google search, she discovers information that sends shivers down her spine. The man captured in her video is no ordinary person. He is a registered criminal, classified as a class one offender. Thanks to her proactive approach, the criminal's actions have been brought to the attention of the police. In a world where danger can strike at any moment, this woman's unwavering vigilance and swift action serve as a powerful reminder to stay alert and prioritize our safety. Her actions not only protect herself and her daughter, but also potentially prevent future harm to others. A tragic and unexpected incident unfolded at a Walmart in Elkton, leaving everyone deeply saddened. Three women were involved in stealing hundreds of dollars worth of items from the store, but things took a devastating turn during their escape attempt. Charmaine Mayo, age 38, accidentally ran over and killed her friend while trying to flee. On a Saturday morning, Mayo, along with her accomplices Danish Harris and Kanisha Cunningham, attempted to leave Walmart without paying for over dollar 1,000 worth of stolen goods. In an attempt to conceal the tag, the victim, Kanisha Cunningham, jumped on the trunk of the vehicle. A security officer followed them and tried to gather evidence by taking pictures of their car. In a shocking twist, Cunningham leaped onto the back of the car in an effort to conceal the license plate. That's crazy. I mean, total disregard for life, in my opinion. Uh, they didn't even attempt to render aid. In a reckless act that showed a lack of regard for human life, Mayo, who was driving the car, reversed, hitting a curb and trapping Cunningham underneath. Ignoring the gravity of the situation, Mayo reversed again and struck another curb. I can't believe they even, like, that even happened. Not even, like, try to help them. They just ran. It blows my mind. There's no need for it to rise to that level of violence where someone loses their life. Totally outrageous. The suspects callously left Cunningham without offering any help and fled on foot. However, they were eventually apprehended shortly after. The lack of empathy and respect for life displayed in this situation is deeply disturbing. People are struggling to comprehend how such a tragic event could occur without anyone attempting to assist. The needless escalation from shoplifting to this level of violence has ignited anger among the public. The loss of life in such a terrible manner is incomprehensible. Danish Harris has been charged but released, while Charmaine Mayo is facing charges of causing death due to negligence.
Initially incarcerated, Mayo was later released on bail in Elkton, pending further legal proceedings. The entire incident serves as a poignant reminder of the tragic consequences that can arise from criminal acts and the necessity of treating life with utmost care and respect. In November 2017, Facebook was inundated with videos of a fire that broke out at a Walmart in Cedar Park, Texas. Among those who shared a live video was Jackie Sinclair. In her recording, she questioned how the fire started but soon realized it was getting too dangerous for her to remain in the vicinity. She had been shopping on Walton Way when the blaze erupted at the watches and jewelry section of the local Walmart. In total, three videos capturing the frightening flames were uploaded, accompanied by blaring sirens and the presence of police and emergency vehicles visible in one of the recordings. An employee alerted authorities, and upon the fire department's arrival, they noted light smoke emanating from the building. The city of Cedar Park's multimedia specialist, Kevin Riley, reported that upon entering the store, they discovered that two locations within the Walmart had been set on fire. Thankfully, everyone was unharmed, but the store had to be evacuated entirely, surely an unsettling experience for those present. Following the incident, the store was closed to assess the damage and conduct an investigation into the cause of the fire and identify who might be responsible for starting it. In this peculiar video, a woman caught stealing at a Walmart store reveals something astonishing. She can be seen removing all the stolen items she had concealed under her clothes. She paid on my oh, wait, 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 wait. Keep. Keep us. Keep. Keep. What's on the edge? Keep. Keep us. This is the feeling. Get the ball and keep us in melee. Go. Keep, 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 To everyone's surprise, it wasn't just small items. She had managed to hide even larger ones under her garments. These video clips show people stealing TVs from Walmart.
It's surprisingly easy to do, and the situation is alarming. Shooting incidents have become all too common, often unfolding rapidly, leaving law enforcement with little time to respond. However, in this particular case, the police received advance notice and reacted swiftly, racing to a Walmart store in Tennessee on December 23, 2020. The air was filled with the festive scent of Christmas and the anticipation of snow. The officers remained on high alert from the moment they received the call, wasting no time as they arrived at the scene. Their immediate focus was the safety of the people inside the store. A Walmart employee had given them a possible description of the shooter, and they approached the situation directly, as there was no indication that the threat had left the premises. In a situation where the threat level was still uncertain, a more measured approach would have been warranted. Ensuring the safety of the store's occupants was the top priority for the officers. Clothing description again. Copy. Clothing description, black man, white shirt, khaki pants. 300, do you copy? Bunny Dick was holding the grocery store inside. Kinker is holding outside. County is holding general merchandise. You're going to start cleaning the building. Yeah. Uh, on me, you stay. That's why I know how to do it. That's why I know how to do this, boys. Let's start on this side. Okay. You on the right? I'm on the left. You start getting the hallways. I'm going to go down and just start trying to get down, all right? We go going straight on the alley here? Straight down. Don't know how to do it. Oh, what do you got? Go from outside in. Outside, you can see all the way down. Let's go from around. We got clues. Open door. Open door. Open door. They quickly discussed their plan and proceeded to escort kids and shop owners out of the mall with utmost care. Hey guys, come on. Hey, we're here, come on. It's because these are police officers, okay? Good job, guys. You all right? Some children were found hiding in fear, tugging at the heartstrings of the officers and onlookers alike. Police, follow them. You're good, you're good. Come on. Come on, what's the thing doing? Look, you're pulling it. Don't play that. 13, I'm going to go to the grocery store outside of the police. I just leave you here for right now. We've got five. Come anyway. Just come out here for a second. I'm going to escort y'all out. Just wait, Huh? Can't wait. Yeah. We'll get you. We'll get you back. All right, that back up. Follow me. Three, 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 three. I got Louie on it. Four, eight, 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 uh, yeah, we'll see if you can track out the roof. We'll get through the other line. Y'all can put up and yell, Mike, we'll clear everything. Get out of here. Yeah, Kyle, we got one of the suspects. Three, three, three. Yeah, Kyle, we got one of the suspects. Yeah, Kyle, we got one of the suspects. Yeah, we have one in custody as of right now. I'm going to put on the M4. Right now, we need to throw you in clear to that. Robbie, need you to come out of the M4. The most relieving news of the day came when it was confirmed that no shots were fired by either the police or the reported shooter, who had momentarily vanished. This tense moment is common in such scenarios. 
As the situation unfolded, a man at the end was seen frantically texting on his phone to let his family know that he was safe, bringing a sense of relief to all involved. Leslie Nurse recounted her troubling experience at the self-checkout of Sims Walmart, where she encountered issues with a malfunctioning scanner. Seeking assistance from a Walmart employee, she believed she had completed her transaction and paid for her groceries. However, to her shock, an asset protection manager accused her of stealing. I remember going in that little room and I was like, this will be resolved. This was an accident. This wasn't on purpose. Alleging she took items worth $1.48, including Christmas lights, bread, and Captain Crunch cereal. Despite her earnest explanation that it was an unintentional oversight, Leslie was arrested and faced charges. Fortunately, the charges were eventually dropped when Walmart failed to appear in court. Nonetheless, the incident left a lasting impact on her reputation, making it challenging for her to find work. Adding to her distress, she received letters from a law firm associated with Walmart demanding $200 to settle the matter, which she staunchly refused, as she firmly believed in her innocence. At first you think, oh, well, I'll pay it and then it'll all go away. But then I'm like, you know, I, I didn't do anything wrong. Why would I pay for something that I didn't do? In her lawsuit against Walmart, an expert testified that the company frequently employed civil recovery laws to coerce accused shoplifters into making payments. Shockingly, over two years, Walmart had charged 1.4 million people with criminal theft and collected over $300 million. Leslie's lawsuit asserted that Walmart exploited the legal process by leveraging criminal charges to support civil recovery efforts. Additionally, Walmart failed to provide crucial video evidence from the self-checkout area which could have vindicated Leslie. Exactly, that they prosecute her solely for the purpose of getting what they call civil recovery on money. After a delay caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, the jury ruled unanimously in Leslie Nurse's favor, awarding her $2.1 million in punitive damages. It would have shown the truth and that they didn't want the truth to be shown. I hope it makes a difference. I don't want anybody else to have to go through this again. She hopes her case will prompt changes and prevent others from enduring similar ordeals in the future. One brave Walmart shopper took matters into her own hands when she noticed a group attempting to steal items without paying. The incident was captured on CCTV footage, showing her courageous act. After witnessing the shoplifters making off with the stolen goods, she leaped onto their car and attempted to break through their windshield. Not many shoppers would have taken such bold action, but this determined woman was disgusted by their sense of entitlement and decided to deliver some vigilante justice. Despite being a 125-pound, five-foot single mother, she fearlessly confronted the kids as they left with several cases without paying. She followed them into the parking lot and jumped onto the hood of their Camaro, striking the windshield with her feet. However, the shoplifters didn't stop and managed to escape. Thanks to her quick action, the surveillance video captured the driver's license plate number, enabling the police to apprehend the suspects shortly after the incident. In a public place like Walmart, being followed is everyone's worst fear. Imagine going about your business, only to realize someone is tailing you deliberately. It's not a simple mistake. This woman senses that something is wrong and grows increasingly concerned for her safety. Despite carrying on with her shopping for half an hour, the unsettling feeling persists as the person shadows her every move. As the video nears its end, the store's loss prevention team steps in, advising her not to leave the store alone. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. You thought? I don't know if you lost your Inside, she finds safety in the presence of others, 
but the situation becomes more precarious outside in the parking lot. Being followed is distressing, leaving her feeling vulnerable and afraid. This woman's experience serves as a stark reminder to trust our instincts and seek help when faced with such situations. Staying cautious and taking necessary precautions in public spaces are crucial for our protection. In December 2016, a horrific crime was committed by a man named Mark Heath Lloyd. During a heated argument, he pulled out a gun and shot his pregnant ex-girlfriend, resulting in a tragic loss of life. The argument was reportedly centered around whether to keep or abort the baby. Following the incident, a manhunt by Orlando police ensued to find Mark Heath Lloyd, but he remained elusive until an inauspicious day in January. On that day, Lieutenant Deborah Clayton found herself shopping at the same Walmart as the fugitive, unaware of his presence. Both of them entered the store separately, 15 minutes apart, and their paths initially did not intersect. They shopped without crossing each other's way. As Lieutenant Clayton completed her shopping and proceeded to check out, Markeith Lloyd did the same, but at a different counter, avoiding any encounter. However, as both were leaving the store with their purchases, their paths crossed briefly at the checkout counter, though Lieutenant Clayton remained unaware of the dangerous man in close proximity. Tragically, Moments after leaving the Walmart, Markeith shot Lieutenant Deborah Clayton, mortally wounding her. The police immediately launched another manhunt, but Lloyd proved adept at evading capture, managing to avoid arrest for another eight days before finally being caught. As for Markeith Lloyd's fate, he was sentenced to death for his heinous actions. The entire incident serves as a somber reminder of the grave consequences of violence and the importance of ensuring justice is served. On February 10, 2020, six-year-old Faith Swetlick returned home from school at 2.50 p.m., greeted by a beautiful sunny day. Her mother, Selena Collins, allowed her to play outside in the sunshine, thinking it would be a joyful moment. Tragically, this decision proved to be fatal as the little girl went missing shortly thereafter. The question loomed, what happened to her? Authorities turned their focus on Cody Taylor, a man believed to have abducted and killed little Faye. Selena Collins promptly notified the police of her daughter's disappearance, initiating an immediate search throughout the neighborhood. Not only the outdoors were scoured, but also the homes of neighbors, including Cody Taylor's residence, as he emerged as the primary suspect in Faye's vanishing. A crucial piece of evidence emerged from surveillance footage showing Cody Taylor heading to a local Walmart, making some purchases. His roommate mentioned that he had used a deodorizing spray at home, suggesting he may have bought it during this trip to the store. Unbeknownst to the investigators, while Cody Taylor walked to Walmart, he had already committed the heinous act of murdering Faye and left her lifeless body in a laundry bag at his home before embarking on his journey to the mall. Although the police searched his apartment with permission from his roommate, they found nothing that raised suspicion, including the laundry bag which seemed insignificant at the time. For three agonizing days, the search for Faye continued relentlessly, with no progress. During this time, the police repeatedly questioned Taylor at his home, potentially unnerving him and leading to his decision to bury Faye's body in the nearby woods. Evidence surfaced, showing Taylor's presence in the woods on the night he buried Faye. It is believed he purchased soil from Walmart for this purpose.
Director Snellgrove eventually discovered Faye's body in the same wooded area where Taylor had been seen spending time during the night and morning after his trip to Walmart. To this day, the motive behind Cody Taylor's dreadful actions remains unknown. When the police returned to question him once more, they found that he had stabbed himself in the neck, adding another layer of complexity to this tragic and heartbreaking case. A nationwide manhunt was underway to find Elizabeth Thomas, who had been taken by her 50-year-old high school teacher, Tad Cummins, from their hometown in Tennessee. Their relationship was revealed through messages, intensifying the search for them. After desperate efforts from the police to locate Elizabeth, a crucial breakthrough came when surveillance footage from a Walmart in Oklahoma emerged. The video showed Elizabeth and Cummins just two days after they vanished, buying food, with Cummins altering his appearance by darkening his hair and Elizabeth dyeing her blonde locks red. Despite the odds stacked against them, the pair were eventually discovered 38 days later on April 20th, hidden in a secluded cabin deep within a forest near Cecilville, California. Elizabeth was safely reunited with her family, ending their harrowing ordeal. Cummins, however, faced charges for his actions. In the dead of night, an empty store set the stage for an eerie spectacle. A Walmart security camera captured an unusual sight, a floating balloon. Normally balloons are harmless, but this one appeared different, moving irregularly as if guided by an unseen hand. It glided through the aisles in a mesmerizing yet chilling manner. Upon reaching the register, it paused briefly before retracing its path down the aisle. Then, it made a sharp left turn, as if following an invisible trail. What added to the perplexity was the absence of any strong air currents. The stillness of the night offered no breeze to push the balloon along. With no logical explanation, speculation ran rampant. Many entertained the idea that a ghost might be responsible for this eerie phenomenon a mischievous spirit finding joy in leading the floating balloon on its mysterious journey. However, whether it was a ghost or some other supernatural force, the true nature of this ghostly encounter remains open to interpretation. What do you believe? In this intriguing video, a young woman and her boyfriend are leaving Walmart when they hear an odd sound nearby and decide to investigate. As they start recording, they notice something incredibly eerie happening. Unaware of the shopping cart moving on its own behind her, the woman mentions that the noise they heard resembled a scream from an older man. Suddenly, the boyfriend draws attention to the shopping cart moving remotely over her shoulder. The cart turns in a circle before abruptly slamming into the red curb to the left. Curiosity piqued, the boyfriend encourages his girlfriend to approach the seemingly haunted shopping cart. Although they initially laugh it off, the boyfriend becomes intrigued and wants to check if the cart has been tampered with. Upon returning to the cart's location, they find that it has moved again from where they last saw it. The boyfriend then instructs his girlfriend to pull the cart out into the open, remarking that it seems like an ordinary cart. But just as they start to think it's nothing unusual, something extraordinary happens. The cart takes off at a faster pace, heading back towards the same spot against the curb. Whether this video is a clever hoax or not, we've all seen shopping carts perform mysterious maneuvers on their own, leading some to wonder if it's merely an apparition trying to grab their attention.